That's right. Back at it again, Full Custom Hot Dog. Here, doing another Blu-ray review. That's right, that's right. Today we're going to be talking about the 1974 TV film movie of the week on the ABC network. Bad Ronald. Say you're sorry. Which was based on a book which we'll talk about a little bit. It's a strange little movie. Maybe one of the earliest examples, and I don't know this for a fact. I'm just spitting. But maybe one of the earliest examples of, hey, he, he's in the wall the whole time, you know? Where the killer or the whoever is actually just living in the house. This is that, the movie. And that's not ruining a twist. That's the crux of the film. That's what this whole film is about, which we'll talk about, of course. But first, we'll talk about what's on the disc. That's right, nothing. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! There's just no, you just get a movie, which is good. Because that's what I wanted to buy. But uh, there's not much here. Looks fine. Sounds fine. Again, made for TV movie. So I think taking that into account, it looks pretty damn good. I think it looks better than some of the other TV movies I have. I have Devil Dog, which was fine. But I think this looks better than that. Not as good as the Vinegar Syndrome stuff, but still pretty solid. Vinegar Syndrome released a box set recently of some made for TV movies. Pretty fun set. Very glad I got that. I don't know if I'll do a review on it. I still haven't watched all of them, but what I've seen, I've enjoyed. And this was released by Warner Brothers, their archive collection. They had that 4 for 44. So I picked this up. It's something I had seen before, so it wasn't a blind buy. And it's something that feels like... Oh man, almost like something every horror fan should have in their collection, I feel like. I'm not sure why. It's cheesy. There's no real violence. There's no real horror. But there's something about it. That's that right, maybe it's the whole time and place thing. I guess now we're talking about the movie. But I guess maybe it's the whole, you know, taking place in the 70s. It's, again, an early version of the guy in the walls. Kind of weird. They're almost, it's almost played up as if they're theater actors. It almost feels like it's been adapted from a stage show, which it wasn't. But anyways, what is bad Ronald about? Well, Ronald has been a bad boy. He's a mama's boy, and he goes to ask out a girl... She's like, what? You're a nerd. Get out of here, nerd. And then he runs into this other girl, and then he accidentally kills her. Uh -oh. And then he accidentally buries the body. Okay, that's not an accident, but he buries the body. What were they thinking? And he runs home to Mama, and he's like, Mama, I killed a girl. And she's like, oh, damn. Well, why'd you bury her, dummy? You probably would have been all right if you hadn't done that. I guess you better live in the walls while we figure out how to get you out of here. So mom starts saving, and the whole plan is to sneak Ronald out and they can go start a new life somewhere else. And that's that's not what happened. Mama ends up dying, and Ronald is stuck living in the walls of the house. But a new family moves in with three young ladies and uh, parents, a whole family unit, and Ronald is still in the house. It's an interesting movie, very basic Barely clocking in over an hour. I think it's something like 70-something minutes, maybe. It's a short one. It's not long. It's a made-for-TV movie, so it doesn't really spread its wings at any point. But it's a solid, solid ride. A little cheesy, which is fine. Kind of stupid, which is fine, too. But it works. It is, like I said earlier, it's kind of a recommend. I think if you're a collector, you should probably have this. If you haven't seen it, it's at least worth a watch. Made-for-TV movies were really interesting. I almost feel like it's not done with any kind of weight so much these days. And also nowadays we've got most things that are coming straight to Netflix. It's a whole different ball game. But back then, when we would get thrillers, it was kind of weird. Now, Bad Ronald is based on a book of the same name, Bad Ronald, which also even got adapted into a French version, which is pretty interesting. I'd actually be curious to see that because the book is much more violent than the film. They had to cut out a lot of stuff because this was going to air on TV in the 70s and they couldn't show how Bad Ronald is really bad. You know, in the movie, he's just a weenie. Accidentally kills a girl. He accidentally kills somebody else. And then he's just kind of creepy and weird and living in your walls. And it's not as scary as it is just kind of uncomfortable and gross. But the bad Ronald in the book, he's a raper. He purposefully hurts people. 
And apparently, from what I was reading about, he's just completely out of control. And I'd be curious to see a version of that movie, and I'm also surprised we haven't gotten another remake of that yet, considering that France has gotten a more closer adaptation of that book. It sounds crazy, I'm not too sure if the ending's any different, but from what it sounds like, Ronald is much, much more of a bigger creeper to those girls in the house. He's also obsessed with this fantasy world he's created, which comes off to be kind of dumb. And I, I don't like that part at all because it just makes him seem, I don't know, kind of reminds me of some story in the news about a Christopher Chan, or about a Chris Chan, actually, is what it sounds like, is that he's open for this dimensional merge, basically. Uh, I guess we probably shouldn't talk about that. Maybe I'm just so cool, I want to die. But also, according to IMDb, Dimension Films were going to do a 2010 remake. It's due, you know? People often roll their eyes at remakes. I think this could use one just because, let's base it more on the original source material. I think it's due. But Ronald as a character is just such a weenie, you kind of just feel bad for him. You never really fear him because he doesn't really come off as a threat at any point. Just kind of a weirdo. It's kind of sad. Like, had he not killed that girl, he would have just gone to college and maybe invented the computer or something. You know, he's just some awkward geek. While in the book, like I said, he's just a He's just gross. He's just a bad, he's just a very bad boy. Which also kind of makes the title, I think, better. Almost as if it's his mother saying, you know, admonishing him. Versus here, it's almost like a joke. You're just kind of a bad Ronald. You're not the worst Ronald, you know. You're just living in the walls and just painting. You're just being weird. But you're not the worst Ronald. Today I begin joining Princess Fancetta. She's the ruler of Atlanta. An existence that becomes inescapable and deadly. That's in the book. But all in all, it's a solid film that I like. However, I did mention the disc was near blank. It's just the film. So if you're coming here looking for a ton of extras, this ain't it, chief. No. But I do recommend at the very least checking out this movie. If you see it to buy for under 8 or $10, it's a recommend, I think. I think it's a solid blind buy at that price. Anything higher, though, you've got to be a fan. And if you're that much of a fan, there's a good chance it's already in your collection. But there's not a whole lot to say about Bad Ronald. It's a very straightforward film, like I said, 70 minutes or so. Directed by Buzz Kulik, someone who I have never heard of. Directed a film called Brian's Song. I don't know what it is, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it. He directed Around the World in 80 Days. The Pierce Brosnan one from 89. I don't even know what that is. A film called To Find a Man. And yes, I am reading that from IMDb because I have no idea what else he's done. But solid work here for a made-for-TV movie. Not always the easiest thing to pull off. I can't imagine doing an effective horror in a made-for-TV film. But this is solid enough. This would probably freak you out a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. Like I keep saying, the, the idea of a greasy nerd living in my walls is just kind of inconvenient. Mildly upset me more than horrifically freak me out, you know? But that's it. That's, that's it. On Bad Ronald, there's not a whole lot to say. A straightforward plot. Fun performances that are maybe overacted, but you kind of get a lot of those at the time. A lot of, a lot of people were trained to act in the theater, and I think that's what you get a lot in those films, which sometimes makes it fun, a little campier, a little cheesier. All in all, a very enjoyable film all around. So, anyways, that's it. That's it. Bad, bad Ronald. I'm your host, Full Custom Hot Dog. You can follow me on Twitter. It's Full Custom Hot Dog without the last. Oh, because that's just too long for Twitter. So. Thank you all for watching, and until next time. If you like what you see, I love what I see. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you can watch whatever comes next. And if you like the music you hear, you can follow me on SoundCloud and Spotify. Check the description for links.